We're taking it back. Hey guys, Frozen X is back again, and today I'm going to be talking about the endgame content and what you should really start to do once you hit level 30. So starting off, I want to talk about the vendors that unlock in the base. If you go back to your advanced weapons vendor once you hit level 30, you're going to notice that he changed his stock. He now sells the Recon and Cassidy. He's going to sell these weapons for everyone. So far, I've checked back every day since I hit level 30 almost two weeks ago, well, a week and a half ago, and it's always been the Recon and Cassidy. All of this other stuff changes, but yeah, it's just always these, uh, these, um, high ends. So, hey, yeah, you, you know, that kind of sucks, but I'm not complaining too much. At least you can buy high ends with, uh, the credits in the game. And now, the other vendor that's going to unlock, and I'm sure you guys might not have noticed this, because I didn't notice it at first, hey, this guy beautiful? ends up here. You don't have to buy anything in the tech wing, Look he just ends is. up here once you get to level so, 30. What looks good to you? Every week, he, er, yeah, I believe it's every week, it might be longer than a week, I'm not 100% sure, but every week he restocks his, uh, what he sells. And for me, it's an M870 Express, but I don't know if the gear is the same for everyone. I do know these blueprints are the same for everyone. So, uh, I got the Vector 45 ACP blueprint. That's the first blueprint I bought. I'm going to try and get the Liberator. Uh, where is it? Liberator, Liberator, Liberator. Well, I can't find it, but you know what the Liberator is. It's the high-end ACR. Oh, there it is. I'm going to try and get that before he restocks, because I really would like a high-end ACR. No worries. So, back another time. yeah, he will sell you any blueprints you need. Yeah, and like for me, I've gotten uh, two blueprints from him, the firearms, knee pad, and the vector. I've gotten three high-end drops. Two of them were advanced performance mods, and then one was an advanced firearms mod. The advanced performance mods were completely useless because the attribute they gave was increased kill XP, so I ended up deconstructing those because it was useless, and I, I was actually really pissy about it. Now, one thing I need to say about uh, level 30 high-end gear is, if you go to recalibrate it, you're going to notice it takes Phoenix credits to recalibrate, not regular credits like say a superior thing would take so I highly recommend that if you're going to reroll it do it after you've unlocked all the things you want cuz I like it was 31 before now it's 49 I don't think you can yeah I think I can try rerolling that again but I'm definitely not spending another 49 credits to do that um, I personally, I would hold off on re-rolling your high-end gear for now because I think they're going to lower this Phoenix credit number. Because with the game's current state, you get 30 Phoenix credits from your daily missions, and then I believe it's 20 or 30 for your challenge. I don't remember exactly. I'll just check right now. I think it was this one. Uh, where is it? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't see it on my map. Uh, I believe the challenge... Mi oh, there it is. Uh, let's see. I've got no idea what they're... Uh, it gives... Yes, 20 Phoenix... Oh, no, 30 Phoenix credits. I'm sorry. 30 for the high end, but it also gives you a high end gear item, which is awesome. But, yeah, so... You get 60 Phoenix credits a day, and if you didn't know, you, you can do that on two accounts. I'm actually almost level 20 on my second account, so I can be getting a maximum of 120 credits a day. But I'm going to talk about those challenge missions a little later. Ben I just currently streets, think right that... Here to re-roll an item is really really expensive 49 is a lot of phoenix credits and i think they're gonna lower that number i don't know how drastically but i really hope they do because that's the amount of like grinding you have to do to even just get the phoenix credits for to make the item is just absurd like the ak-47 is 182 the vector i got i believe was 154 I could be wrong on that, but my god, it's really a long grind to get those things. And sure you I'll just have you to you just have to keep getting on every day and doing it. And then it kinda sucks when you have what what happened to me when you what it was was increased kill XP. Yeah, the, I had got increased kill XP. 
I rerolled it hoping to get scavenger and nope I got extra enemy armor damage which isn't bad but eh I don't you know could have gotten better the scavenging is a really nice perk because it if you didn't know scavenging makes it so you have a better chance at getting better drops so yeah I would really look out for that now daily missions are going to appear on your map uh, they're gonna look like this so I don't want him to be talking they're gonna look like the no uh, circle around doing. the uh, they're gonna have the little arrows around the mission and each daily will give you 15 Phoenix credits I've already done mine today sorry about that but they change every day so there's no point in me pointing out where they are because it's just gonna change probably by the time you even watch this video all you have to do is just hold G over the mission and change it to hard next to hard it'll say daily because the daily missions are literally just the hard difficulty that give Phoenix credits that's all they are now if you just hit level 30 you're probably not going to be able to do the challenge modes uh, even you, well you're never really gonna be able to do them solo because there's no respawn point so if you die at any point in the mission you have to restart the entire mission over so playing solo yeah, I would never do that because if you just get really unlucky, 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 unlucky with the boss fight and die, you're screwed. Like, you have to do the whole thing over again and you're probably just going to smash your keyboard because of it. So, with that being said, I even at once you reach level 30, it, these are really hard for you. When I first hit level 30, I went right into one with a group of four people thinking, okay, we'll run right through this. I literally would get one shot by shotgunners and two shot by any assault rifle at any range. Snipers were one shot. It was just incredibly difficult and I was more of a hindrance to my team than I actually was helping. But thankfully a lot of the people who match make were just as terrible so they weren't really mad because they were dying just as quickly as well and just as many times. So I would hold off on challenge missions. I suggest you go try it so you kind of understand what I mean. But hold off on it until you get some better gear. Currently, I can do them. I haven't done this one yet today because I just got home from classes while I'm recording this. So I'll probably do it later. But if even still, with my high two end high end pieces and the really nice high end vector, they're still extremely difficult. I get three or four shot with an assault rifle, a shotgun at close range is still a one shot, and you know anywhere else is a two shot and snipers pretty much bring me down to the tiniest sliver of health so unless I'm at full health I'm dead so you just gotta play really carefully use a lot of cover keep your skills up all the time always have the support station that can revive you down and you should be fine but always bring a group of four people preferably with some friends who you know are really good as well and once you get to level 30, you're also going to want to start going into Dark Zone. I highly suggest you start around in DZ 01 and 02. Once you get up into 03, the enemies become level 31, and there are a lot more elites. With that being said, you, once you reach level 30, you're not really geared to deal with level 31 enemies. Once you've spent enough time in DZ 01 or 02, you'll start noticing that you're getting gear that's actually item level 31. And as you can see right there, uh, right above the level requirement, I know my mouse doesn't show up. Um, both these knee pads and the gun are. And so even this, uh, sorry, where is it? Uh, I don't think, uh, I, yeah, it doesn't happen for anything other than high-end weapons. But once you start getting level 31 gear, you're more geared to start dealing with the level 31 and 32 enemies. The 32 enemies are in Dark Zone uh, 5 and 6, 3 and 4 are 31, and uh, 1 and 2 are level 30s. So hang out in 1 and 2 for a while, wait till you get your first few pieces of uh, Dark Zone or High End gear, then you're going to want to move up into 03. If you haven't watched it already, watch my uh, High End Loot Guide where I talk, or the Phoenix Credit Farming Guide, I'm sorry. Uh, watch that where I talk about how the uh, great, uh, Central Park is probably one of the best spots to farm Phoenix credits, but it's also a really great area for level 31s. There's two uh, named bosses right next to each other, and most people don't know about it. And I'm a small YouTuber, so most people still don't know about it. Anyway, uh, in here, you're going to notice that the uh, blockade is probably going to be the landmark you spend a lot of time at, because... 
that is the I've got both two of the three high ends that I've gotten dropped were from that guy. Uh, obviously they were all gear mods though, so that kind of sucks. Um, Koreatown, as far as I know, doesn't actually spawn any named enemies. Uh, the abandoned gas station I think is currently bugged because there's whenever I go there, there's no elites. There's not even any really superior enemies. I mean, some spawn there when you use the extraction area just to the, like, bottom right of it. Um, this construction site, it does spawn a named enemy. It's also a division tech location. Once you, f when you first reach level 31, that, or 30, that's completely useless. Division tech is going to be used to build items that you get from the dark zone. Uh, or, well, blueprints from the dark zone. Once you get to level 50 in the dark zone, you can go to a safe house. And you can actually buy uh, high-end blueprints with uh, dark. I believe it's either Phoenix credits or Dark Zone credits. I'll actually just go uh, teleport over to one, and I'll keep talking while I walk there. But what you're gonna want to keep doing is just farming enemies in one and two until you get the first few pieces of high-end gear. Once you do that, move up into Dark Zone three and four, and I mean, I've gotten a gun, and I still have the one piece, and I moved up into 3 and 4. So once you get a couple pieces, you're good enough to take on level 31 enemies. Especially if you're playing with a team, because as you probably know, playing with a team gives you such a huge advantage in the dark zone. People are less likely to kill you, or rogues are, people are less likely to go rogue, kill you, and take your shit when you have three other people surrounding you. Because then they have to have a team of four to really win, because... In the Dark Zone, really the way I see player battles going is it's a lot of who has the better gear and who has the more numbers on their side. And I don't really like the way that it, I mean the numbers thing, like if you have two players fighting one person they should win. I currently don't like the way the Dark Zone is where just because some guy has been playing the game for a week longer than I have, he has such better gear than me and I can't even fight him. He'll just mow me down in one shot. I think the Dark Zone needs to have much better player grouping than they currently have. So, if you notice here, uh, in the Dark Zone vendor, you can't even buy regular Dark Zone items until you reach rank 30 in the Dark Zone, which kind of sucks. I think that should be more like 20, 25, but, you know, it's whatever. It doesn't take too long to get rank 30. I mean, I've been playing in the Dark Zone for about a week, and I'm like, uh, what is it, level 26 or 27? It'll come on screen in about a second. Yeah, 26. Uh, but keep in mind, I've also been leveling up a second character in that time, as well as I have college classes, so I don't have a lot of time to play. I can only play a couple hours a night. I usually hop on this account, do some daily missions, go in the dark zone, get a few gear, uh, gear uh, like extractions, and then I hop over to my other account to try and level him up too. So... Now that we're at the safe room, you'll... Well, this is... Yeah, I'm actually just going to cover this real quick. This is one of my biggest fucking gripes. There's a loading screen. Like, what? This is the only door in the game that's a loading screen, and they put it in the dark zone, which couldn't have pissed me off more. Oh, my God. They could have done that so much better. Anyway, so, once you get here, you can see that the... Yeah, they're actually dark zone funds, which is not bad, because dark zone funds aren't that hard to get. I mean, they're only, like... This one's like, the ACR is 16,000, I already have 50,000, and I'm nowhere close to level 50. But, you're going to need division tech. And, to get division tech, you're going to have to go to the crafting station, and you're going to have to scroll to the very bottom, and, go, like, right below where you normally would see, uh, like, you would take the blue weapon parts and craft them into high-end weapon parts you'll see that you can also craft division tech into higher forms of division tech. That was unfortunate. Here are some guys. I'll just show you how good this AC or this uh this uh vector is real quick. Yeah, it's pretty overpowered. Uh sorry if I'm lagging right now because I'm currently actually uploading a video. Uh if if you're wondering what video, that would be my uh the Leafy vs H3 H3 video, which sorry, I I mean I don't really know what inspired me to make that. Well, I do know it was both those YouTubers and Official Duck Studios were all people who, made, or inspired me to start YouTubing. So when shit hit the fan with them, I thought I'd kind of put my two cents in because I really don't think any of them are to blame. Of course, I still feel bad for Tommy, but let's face it, that was the fanboy's fault, not his fault. 
uh, not Leafy's fault. Leafy never told them to go attack him. And H3, H3, I feel, I'm glad, I don't want to say that I'm mad that he made that video and attacked Leafy, but he, he really, he's the one that solved the situation. He's the one that got everyone to back off Tommy. So, good, good on H3, H3. And Tommy got a lot of subscribers out of it, so I think all in all, this shitty situation turned into a good situation. Now, I was just kind of killing time talking there because I'm trying to fast travel back to base, and I, like, normally I would edit this out, but really, I have finals coming up in a few weeks, well, not a few weeks, about a month. I have so many tests and things to do, I don't really have a lot of time to edit this like I uh, normally do, and I'm just trying my best to keep these entertaining. So I'm going to go into the base of operations and I'm going to show you what I meant by you can craft division tech because you're not going to find legendary or sorry, I say legendary because I'm used to Borderlands and uh, Destiny. You're not going to find high end division tech in those division tech sites. You're going to find blues and greens that you have to craft up and do high end. Just the same way when you deconstruct a gun, you have to craft those up as well. So once we get over the crafting station. Alright, here we are. So, you'll notice that right here you have material conversion. And you have to. I, this always annoyed me. You can't just look at it and scroll down. You have to click and then scroll down. But you'll notice that you'll see things like electronics, uh, tools, weapon parts. Uh, all that is dark zone. You're going to have to craft the dark zone electronics and tools and weapon parts opposed to the regular high-end weapon parts and things because well that would just be too simple and I'm looking at it now and are are you not able to craft division tech upwards huh I may actually be wrong about that um, and I'm not finding it out till now I I swear to god I saw it in here um, yeah it doesn't appear to be in here that is my bad guys uh, sorry about that I really thought that it was yeah, I'm confused about that. I really thought you could craft the vision tech upwards, so you must be able to get high-end vision tech drops, but they are just really rare then, because I've gone to probably at least 20 to 30 uh, division tech locations and looted probably 50 or more division tech boxes, and I don't think I have a single division tech uh, that's high-end. So maybe I'm missing something here, and you guys can point it out in the comments, but... <laughs> I mean, probably not because you're clicking on a what to do at a level 30 guide, but yeah, so you're going to definitely just have to keep looting those division tech sites because, wow, that's going to be hard to get division tech to uh, craft those dark zone things, and I'm just realizing that now. That really sucks. I'm not too happy about that, to be honest. Um... Yeah, well, what I do notice, though, is that you can use the division, I think that's what I got confused about. You can use the division tech, or it's not, you don't use high-end fabric to craft high-end dark zone fabric, you use division tech to craft it. So, yeah, that's probably where I got confused, and I'm really sorry about that, guys. So, just to recap and clarify, you have to find high-end division tech in the division tech boxes, you use blue division tech to create high-end dark zone fabric, electronics, tools, and weapon parts. Now, with that all being said, I'm pretty, sh pretty sure that's about the end of it. Uh, if you're wondering how to get Phoenix credits other than the daily missions, uh, go ahead and watch my How to Farm Phoenix credits video. I cover that a bit more in there, so I'm not going to drag this video any longer because it's been going on for a while. Um, the only thing I didn't cover in there is that... I said that any name boss uh, drops Phoenix credits. I didn't clarify that. If you go back, even if it's not a daily, redo it on hard, the name bosses Agent, will still drop the credits. Or, well, two to four Phoenix credits, uh, just, just the same way two to four Phoenix credits will drop each time you kill a name boss in the Dark Zone. So, yep, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and peace out.